Hey everybody, Laser here, and today I have another Elden Ring build, since the last video did so well. And the build that I have for you today is a Godskin Apostle build. It is based around the Black Flame incantations and the Godskin Peeler weapon. So yeah, let's get into it. So first I want to talk about the, uh, the armor that we have for the build. It is the Godskin Apostle set, as you can clearly see. This is more so for fashion than anything else. That's kind of like the pyromancy build. Well, the, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the, as I was saying, and these, the armor set doesn't really have any bonuses to the Black Flame incantations or the Ash of War on the Godskin Peeler. So again, this really is more for fashion. And besides, it is also one of the more cooler looking armor sets in the game. Now as for the weapon that we're using, it is the Godskin Peeler weapon. This is a a twin blade weapon, and that most that pretty much only does physical damage and it scales in both strength and dexterity. Though I do have it scaling more in dexterity than strength for this specific build. And the place that you could get the Godskin Peeler weapon is over here in Dominula. Uh, you just need to kill the Godskin Apostle boss there. Godskin Peeler itself. It is a very good weapon. It does a lot of damage, and since it is a twin blade, you are able to get off a lot of attacks in a row. So, that does increase the damage per second. There's also the unique Ash of War, Black Point Tornado, which does a whole heck of a lot of damage, as you could see there. And we'll just go over here, here to showcase how Black Flame Tornado, while it does have a very long wind-up animation, it, uh, sorry, just a minute. it does have the potential to get multiple enemies at once, and it does a do a lot of damage, as you can see there. Now to the incantations. For the seal we're going to be using, again, it's the Golden Order seal, like in the last video. If you want to know why I'm using the Golden Order seal, you could go back to the last video for more details, but basically, this is the best seal for incantation scaling, So, and it's also the seal that I use during my main playthrough, so it's more convenient that way. Anyways, the first uh, incantation that we're going to be showing off is Black Flame. As you can see, it's very similar to Flame Sling, as you could, as you probably came across us during your first playthrough if you, you know, were doing a faith build. Well, bas I, basically, this is kind of a side grade to that, uh, where it's the same thing as Flame Sling. Except, it does a little bit of damage over time, which is kind of the main gimmick with these, you know, Black Flame incantations, you know, Godskin incantation incantations, and I really like this incantation because it's basically just an upgraded version of Flame Sling, even though I do think that Giant's Flame Take D does work as a better, you know, direct upgrade. This is a pretty good side upgrade. Eight for, you know, oh, those of you that don't really want to use Flame Sling in, in your playthrough early on. And the place that you could get it, I, I'm gonna, you know, try and see if I can get the map up now. Okay, so now that I have the map up, I can show you where to get it. Basically, you could get this over in Stormvale Cas vale Castle. You just have to go from the liftside chamber. Uh, actually, no, not from the liftside chamber. The main gate. You go through this area, and then you'll come across as a doorway that needs one of those so swordstone keys in order to unlock. And once you unlock that... There's a room up ahead, and you'll get be able. To, there are two chests, and you could get two items, items which are the God Slayer Seal and the Godskin Prayer Book. 
Actually, is it called the Godskins? The yeah, it is called the Godslayer Seal. My bad. Anyway, so in the prayer book, you could give the prayer book to either either the turtle at the Church of Vows or Brother Corin, and you'll be able to get two incantations, which is is Black Flame and the uh, uh it's another one that that gives the Black Flame ability to any weapon that you have on that can get that ability. So yeah. Anyway, so the next incantation we're going to be showing off is Scouring Black Flame. As you can see, this incantation takes a while to actually use, but it- and it does have a similar damage output and effect to Black Flame. I don't really like this one, I mean, it does have a wide range of effect, but it- t it just takes such a long time for you to, like, completely charge it up. I know you can just quickly tap it, but that isn't as good for, like, you know, damage and stuff. You want to get the maximum amount of damage, especially if you're like me and have the Godfrey icon equipped. If you want to get the maximum amount of damage on your charged spells. Also, so really, I don't really like this one, but I decided to grab it for the build. And besides, maybe you guys will like it. I, get, I again, personally don't like it. And the place you get this, like I said, at for the Godskin Peeler, you go to Dominula, the Windmill Village, kill, kill the Godskin Apostle there, and he will drop up this incantation. I also forgot to mention where you could get the armor set. It's in the Divine Tower of Kaled. You just go all the way to the basement area, and there should be a boss fog gate. Eight. And behind the fog gate is another Godskin Apostle boss. You just kill that and you'll be able to get at the armor set. So for the next incantation, this one is a pretty cool incantation. It's called Black Flame Ritual. And as you can see, it summons pillars of black flame that does damage when the enemies walk, walk into them. So it's kind of like Burn O Flame, which is one of the incantations that we showcased in the last build video. However, it kind of works in, like, a circular or range of effect. I could probably get a better show off of its, uh, you know, its range of effect here. As you can see, it is pretty, you know, cool. It looks cool, and it does a lot of damage. I really like this spell, and I definitely think you should pick it up if you're doing a faith build, well, regardless of... If you're doing like, you know, a god skin build, if you're just doing a faith build, I definitely suggest picking this up. You can get this one in the Spirit Color Cave. You just need to beat the uh, Spirit Color Snail boss that summons the god skin Apostle and Noble. And once you've done that, you will get this incantation. The last incantation we're going to be showing off is Black Flame's Protection. This one is a personal buff uh, that reduces the amount of physical damage that you take. So, as you can see here, I can take a lot of damage from the Sparrow Beastman with the buff on. However, without the buff, as you can see here, if he attacks me, I take a lot more damage from his attacks and I die in like tree hits. I do like this buff. It's a, you know, pretty good buff. If you're fighting enemies that do a lot of physical damage, or bosses that do a or most bosses in the game, because most bosses do do a lot of physical damage, damage to you, I definitely would suggest this incantation for your free buff routine. And however, and also, uh, this is a personal buff, so that means you can stack this buff with Golden Vow, so you can put this buff on, put Golden Vow on, and then you'll be doing a lot of damage, but not taking too much damage in return. That's the build, and uh, before I go, I just want to say that I'm really appreciative of how well the last video did, and I just want to say thanks for all the support on the last video. I seriously didn't Im imagine it would get that many views. Like, I just started doing these Elder Break videos because I wanted to get back into YouTube after taking a 
decently long break, and as I am recording this, the video has 88 views, which is actually insane, and I, I can't believe that you guys have gotten that pyromancy build video, oh, that is, that I literally only cooked up in like a few minutes, to 88 views, that is just, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. So, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.